left uh, America, left California for a year after high school, went back to Australia. And that largely broke my sports addiction. I remember I came back to Sacramento in June of 1985, and the World Series that fall, I think it, it had featured the Kansas City Royals and the St. Louis Cardinals, and it was the first World Series in like seven years that I just didn't care about because being away from California or, you know, all my sporting uh, beliefs and attachments got attenuated because they didn't receive any social support. And so too, with, with being sick, I just, I was just struck by how I, I'd, I'd step back from, from all my ideological commitments and cares and, and concerns and just kind of, kind of felt distanced from my life because I wasn't really participating in my life. And so I think it's, it's being sick in that way is kind of similar to, to sadness and depression, that uh, these can serve a, an adaptive function because this is an opportunity to step back from the things that you do habitually and ask yourself, you know, are these things that I typically commit myself to and put a lot of energy into and really believe strongly about, are, are they worth it? Like, are my commitments worth it? Are my beliefs worth it? Are my practices worth it? Is my life, how I'm living it, worth it? Is the way I'm spending my time worth it? And so with depression or illness, you have that opportunity to just step back from your routine to reassess your, your, your beliefs, your, your practices, your life, your, your commitments, and then to think through new possibilities, new beliefs,